Pastor Wayne Williams is not just a pastor, he is a disciple. He's a believer and a follower of Jesus, the living Christ. Pastor, uh, I know we've talked a little bit uh, in previous sessions about the book you've written, and I know you've written a lot of things, but tell us and let our viewers in on your personal experience with Christ. It's, it's a, a powerful it's, thing, isn't it? Yes. I was 15 years old. My dad said to me one Sunday evening, go to church with us tonight. Bobby, that's my middle brother, has been saved, and I want you to go to church with us. I wasn't a mean guy. I was just mischievous, but uh, I went that Sunday night. And as soon as I walked through the door, the pastor of that church hmm. met me and he asked me a question I couldn't answer very well. He said, are you a Christian? And I had to say to him, no, hmm. I'm not. It would have been easy to get him off my back and say yes, but I couldn't, I had to be honest. And he said, you listen to the sermon tonight and at invitation time, you can settle this. Well, I never will forget what he preached, never. He preached on the the person and the work of the Holy Spirit in the heart. And that night the Holy Spirit worked in my heart he said, if there's any here tonight who would like to know Christ, would you raise your hand for prayer? I shot my hand up immediately. He invited us to move from where we were seated, step out, and I did. And as soon as I got up, God saved me. Thank you, Jesus. That's the power of the living God, isn't it? Yes, it is. He saved me that instant. He said, come on down to the front. I did, sat down on the front pew. And uh, he opened the Bible. And I'll never forget what he read. And this is the record from 1 John 5. That God hath given to us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not. Hmm. And I have... Ever since that day, preached Christ and exalted him and tried to lead people to saving knowledge of my Savior. And he's been a tremendous Savior, mm -hmm. friend, teacher, instructor of Scripture. What a blessing it's been to me over these years. Well, Pastor, it's also been a blessing to countless thousands of others because the very real work that Jesus did in your heart that night as a 15-year-old boy has, has been a seed that's produced much fruit. Well, I trust so. Yes, well, I can tell you from the outside looking in, I've seen that fruit over the decades we've known one another. And if you're listening today and you do not know this Jesus that we're talking about, this would be a great day to shoot your hand up and say, Jesus, I want to make you Lord of my life. Amen. This is a Amen. very real experience that Wayne is sharing with us. It's a very real personal relationship that he has and that I have with the living Christ. Amen. And you can enjoy that kind of relationship. So if you don't know Christ, this is the day. The word says now is the day of salvation. Mm -hmm. Wayne, would you just lead people in a short prayer? I will. My Father, I thank you that you loved us, sent your Son into this world to bear our sins in his body on the cross. I thank you, my Father, that you love us. And may anyone listening today or watching give his or her heart to Christ. They'll make no mistake by doing so. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you for being here today, Pastor, and God bless you 
as you make a decision for him.